okay? I I have to talk about this, okay? Uh, I, when, as a as a lifelong fan of Lord of the Rings, okay? Literally, you guys know uh, the first conversation I ever had on camera, on stream at all, with, with my partner Doe, was about Lord of the Rings lore. I fucking love Lord of the Rings. Uh, I've been into Lord of the Rings since I was literally like nine years old, ten years old. Um, and uh, I love that shit, okay? And nothing makes me angrier than these people who try to do the go woke, go broke shit on Lord of the Rings, okay? And there's a number of reasons for it, okay? But the biggest reason, okay, and I know you're gonna say, well, it's be it must be because it's racist, right? That is a bad reason. That is a terrible reason. That is one of the, that is a, a very good, re or sorry, I should say that's a good reason to dislike people like this. That is, it's true. It is very racist. But the real reason that it truly deeply offends me, although I am offended by racism, I am more offended by the fa by the idea that a black elf is the most immersion breaking thing that you can imagine in Lord of the Rings. And more so, I'm gonna go one step further and I'm gonna say Lord of the Rings in 2022. Because I don't know if you guys remember this, but uh, let me just get this, let me just get this stark image for you, okay? Uh, with regard to uh, things that break your immersion, uh, I have to say, I, I think maybe this might be one of the greatest travesties of all time. Oh, this is so low quality, it's perfect. Do you guys remember this shit? Do you guys remember the scene in the, the Hobbit movie where all of the dwarves are riding around in cartoon barrels and their arms pop out and they're doing kung fu moves from inside barrels and fighting orcs and there's an elf that's jumping around on wet rocks and shooting hundreds of arrows per second into orcs do you guys remember this shit and you might go you might go oh but demon mama that's bad faith you're picking the worst the worst of the lord of the rings media okay hold on a second hold on hold on no no, I'm not. I'm sorry. No, I'm fucking not. Because if you guys remember this shit, do you guys remember this scene from the Return of the King where where Legolas is climbing all over the elephant, the giant elephant's tusks and shooting arrows all over the place with perfect accuracy and slipping around and sliding on shields and jumping on people's heads and going, woohoo! Do you guys remember that in Return of the King? Ele elephant parkour okay but but it's but it's a black skinned elf that makes you lose your goddamn mind like obviously i was joking about how the the my least you know my, about how the racism isn't the part that annoys me the most obviously the racism is the part that annoys me the most uh it is so stupid that you could imagine think seeing a, a dark-skinned elf and you immediately just go Oh, that's breaking my immersion in a series that literally has guys Tom Bombadil is a character in the original text Like like do you guys do you guys know what he was described as this is how he was like drawn originally Let me show you this guy. Okay Do you guys this guy? is in the original fucking text of Lord of the Rings. This motherfucker. A literal dancing, like, a literal dancing gnome that is supposedly one of the most powerful entities in existence. And he dances around and sings little rhymes and shoots magical stars out of his fingers. And yet it's dark-skinned elves that bother you the most? My man. That is so fucking pathetic. There's a Tom Bombadil meadery. Ooh, yummy. Now, fantasy is so obsessed with elves being fair skinned like some inherent given. Okay, it's funny because, uh, it, it's funny because who fucking cares? First of all, fair skinned doesn't only mean light skinned. Now, yes, it, it did mean light-skinned at the time that these books were written, but also, to my knowledge, there is nowhere, um, 
you know, there is nowhere in the books that explicitly says that all elves look the same way. In fact, there are multiple races of elves. Yeah, they're all sort of like, like descended from the same place, but that doesn't mean that there aren't different types of elves. In fact, like the wood elves and the, the elves of Rivendell are described as appearing differently. And yes, at the end of the day, elves aren't fucking real. They're made up. It's a fictional universe. The author is dead. And way, way, way worse things have been done with his vision than dark-skinned elves. So I just got to say, these, these fucking nerds are really not beating the, uh, the racism allegations. They're doing a really poor job. Like, the meme that everybody says is like, oh, you put a woman in it, now it's political. Oh, you put a black person in it, now it's political. Oh, you put a, you put a gender in it. Now it's, now it's, now it's fucking, oh my God, you made it political. But they're just actually doing that. It's not even, that's not even parody. What is this? That's what this tweet is. This tweet is just, it literally is just the, that thing. It's just people doing, oh, you know, oh, now you had to make it political. Look at, wait, hold on. Wait, this is really funny. Ready? Look. Me. It seems tokenizing and performative to post hoc add POC to fantasy with colorblind casting. Instead, we should add more fantasy cultures that are representative of actual POC medieval culture and folklore. What does this mean? And also, that is not what you said. This is the, I, these people all, I mean, obviously this guy is, like I said, a, 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 a perennial idiot, you know, just over and over and over again. Um, but it's like, it, the, like the, the, the shitty quality of this argument, the fact that it doesn't check on any levels just reveals that the only real intention, the only real reason you would be bad, mad about seeing a dark-skinned elf is, is if you're racist. Or if you can only understand, uh, like, through the wokeified lens, where you think that every casting decision has to be a condescending, uh, like, what, did, what was this described as? Performative and tokenizing? I, I, I don't understand how you can come to that conclusion. Yeah, there were black people in Europe. Yes, obviously. This person sounds like they just want a minstrel show version of black people in their media. Yeah, that's ultimately what they want. They want to say, oh, fantasy. Okay, it's really, it's, a, it's an incredibly stupid argument. Hold on. This argument right here is really, really stupid. And I want to explain why, okay? Right here. Uh, uh, instead, we should add more fantasy cultures that are representative of actual POC medieval culture and folklore. These are unrelated things. Having a dark-skinned elf does not preclude you, nor has, nor does it necessary, nor does it even preclude Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings has fantasy cultures that are actually, in some cases, kind of fucking racist, but also that are representative of act of actual POC medieval culture and folklore. Those already exist in the universe. That is inconsequential they, they are that is not a response or a, a uh it is not a response nor is it a proper critique of having a dark-skinned elf if you have an elf who's dark-skinned because there's a talented actor that you want to play that elf and it doesn't really matter to you what the skin color of the elves is because who fucking cares they're elves then you should be able to cast that that actor you should be able to cast those people you should be able to have those people play fucking elves because the skin color doesn't matter. And if your immersion is broken by seeing a difference in skin color, I'm just going to say that your consumption of media and your ability to process, uh, to, to process like fiction at all is fundamentally broken. Yeah, as Windleby says, uh, having diverse cultures and looks is canon for the elves. Yes, aren't, uh, look, I don't even want to go into the depth, into the deep lore because it doesn't matter. Even if it was, even if, even if J.R.R. Tolkien wrote, there are no black elves, it wouldn't matter. And I would say that it would be good for people to still cast black actors as elves. Even if, literally if J.R.R. Tolkien wrote down on a piece of paper, do not ever put black elves in my, in my story. I think it would still be good. And the reason why is because, why would this, 
outside of the guy being a racist, outside of racist motivations, the skin color of the actors playing elves, the skin color of a random elf character shouldn't matter. Also, is this, are we forgetting that one of the main storylines in Lord of the Rings is, is a, a interracial relationship between an elf woman and a human man? And that a big part of it is like, hey, uh, you have to give up immortality or whatever. Are you okay with doing that? That's like a big focus. And it's shown that it's a good thing that she chooses to follow her heart and go with the person that she loves. So it's, 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 it fails, the argument fails on multiple levels. So not only is obviously is this guy, this paraglobalism guy, is a giant coward for like backing down off of his stupid ass position. Um, which was stupid to begin with, but it, it the argument in and of itself, it collapses in on itself and it only ends up being racist. That's it. That's that's the only sensical argument that comes out of it is I don't want to see black elves. If your immersion is broken, and so I was goofing about this, you know, I made a little tweet. I, I'm still pretty proud of this tweet, but I basically said the same thing as I did in this stream, which was, oh, I was fine with old men spinning around and shooting magic, humans falling multiple stories to the ground and surviving, magical rings that turn you into a gremlin, met mysterious all-powerful gnomes, but I really draw the line at dark-skinned elves. It's so stupid and so blatantly racist that I don't know. I can only assume that it's that it's it's like Pepe posting, right? That's really what it seems like. It just seems like it's either Pepe posting or stupidity, one of the two. And when I say Pepe posting, for those who don't know what Pepe posting means, when I say Pepe posting, I mean uh, when people say that they're they're like, I'm not being racist, but they're really just dog whistling and have and playing word games while in truth they hold extremely racist sentiments. Paraglobalism fell off. I don't think there was anywhere to fall off from. Like honestly, a a a, a Twitter bottom feeder for sure. But I, I just, I saw this meme going around and, and uh, I saw this idea going around these people, like this argument happening again, it happens all the time. And guys, it's just, just, it's fucking stupid. If any of you out there are sitting there going like, oh yeah, but you know, the lore, etc., It's fucking pointless, okay? It's fucking pointless to try and say you shouldn't have people of a certain skin color uh, uh, play certain fantasy races because of skin color. Skin color should not be important. It shouldn't be important in fantasy. It shouldn't be important anywhere, okay? Especially when you're making adaptations of media. Uh, when you, Because then all of the excuses go out the window. When you're making an adaptation of media, you should be able to have any actor play any role, okay? Even if they don't fit the, the demographic aspect perfectly unless there is uh, i mean fuck and 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 it's really funny because keep in mind that these people are also the ones who always make the argument they make the inverse argument that oh when there, whenever there's a trans person who's portrayed as by a cis person they always go oh well anyone should be the it's the right actor for the job isn't it isn't it about the right actor for the job and these people will always be, say stupid shit like that and then at the same time get mad when when a black person is ca casted as an actor uh, as an actor for an elf can cis people portray trans people um yeah obviously i think cis people can portray trans people but i think that it also can be telling okay and here's the reason why i can say that it's telling and i know that some people are probably going to get uh separately triggered by this but there are a ton of trans actors there are a ton of really really talented trans actors but those trans actors don't get work because studios will reach for a cis actor that they know uh, that they know is a known name before anything else. And I think that's very shitty. I think that you should actively push against that. Even, even though I do believe that cis people can play a trans role, I don't think that like being cis precludes you from being able to understand the trans struggle. Obviously, I don't believe that. Um, but I think that 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 when you're making casting decisions like that, you should think about it. If you're telling the story of a trans person, of trans people, you should try to bring trans people into your project. Always. Oh yeah, or when neurodivergent people is portrayed by neurotypical people. Yeah, that's another one that happens all the time. This happens a ton with disabled actors. Yes, it does. You want to know what else is really funny too? When they cast a 
skinny actor in a fat suit instead of casting a fat actor. That's another example of this exact same thing where it's, it's, uh, it's, it's the inverse. They're all up in arms about an elf being black, but oh yeah, you'll put a skinny person in a fat suit instead of casting a fat actor. You'll have a cis person play a trans person. So which one fucking is it? These arguments fucking, these, these, these arguments these people put forward suck. They just suck.